Down the hatch. Oh my god! We hit the mother load. This is Barcel Outdoors, presented by the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Roll up in our tundra. I'm explaining to my producer, Sean, say hello to the camera. Hi. And I was like, well, here's an example of a tree. They're usually under dead trees, anything that's really disturbed area. But I was like, I don't know if they'll be under this one because it's really dead. So I was like, I'm just going to peek over there really quick. Did a little peek and there's some yellows right there. So if you've never seen morel mushrooms, these are the best thing to eat that comes out of the woods besides meat. The morel mushrooms are a delicacy. People will pay like hundreds of dollars per pound. We don't sell them because we are uh, selfish, but Check this out. Do a little peek, Sean. Two morels right there. I only seen two, but usually they're clustered, so there could be more. I was just telling Abby, oh, by the way, this is Abby, redhead over here. Hi. To look under this tree, this fallen uh, good old tree stand that obviously nobody's probably gonna climb in. And two old morels right here. I don't have my bag with me right now. A mesh bag is usually the best to collect morels in. Because their spores will fall out and it will kind of get scattered across the woods when you're walking. And then more grow next. Yep. Delicioso. First tree. You said you feeling lucky? Bro, I'm feeling so lucky. This is the first tree, honestly, I was not expecting to find any because it's such a dead tree. But we found two. I'm gonna look just to make sure. Oh, I found three more. What? Yeah. We hit the jackpot! <laughs> Woo! Don't pick them yet! <laughs> Quick, pick them before Sydney gets over here. Okay. Wow! Oh my god! Dude! Holy oh shit! The Holy crap! We hit the mother load. Come on, don't step on him. Oh my gosh! Look, somebody like picked that one too. Those suckers probably are already oh, here. one right in front of you. Oh my god. Don't you, don't you step on it, otherwise I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll have to end your life. Dude, that Sean, take a vid, would you? Uh, when am I not taking a video? <laughs> take a vid on your cell phone. Do I look like a boy? Should I put my hair up? Um, yes. We found the mother load. <laughs> the freaking mother load. This is like the greatest thing that could have ever happened just now. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, Sean, you gotta hurry up. Stop doing what you're doing. We might have to take all day to find morel mushrooms 10 feet outside of the truck. I am peeing my pants. They're literally just all over the place. Dude, this is amazing. I walked up and I only saw that one, that one, and that one. And then Sydney walked up and found 10 more. Well, it's because <laughs> you were on top and I came from below because I just yeah. picked a couple. Just picked one and she's like here's three over here and i'm like where holy shit they're everywhere <laughs> good find <laughs> and it's raining the elements don't stop us this is a great year yeah it is and it's the first week of may and they're still here yes all right let's let's pick them <laughs> This big old boy. This one's a little floppy. This one's in the moss. Oh! This one was like already just dead meat. Yum. Hey Sid, mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Sucker. This is a big one. And they're fresh. Um, the big yellow ones is what everybody loves. There's big yellows, big grays. This is a big yellow. And um, you can tell they haven't been up too long. They're real fresh and that's what we like. They're not dried up, which I was hoping that that wasn't the case and it wasn't. So let's pick this big old boy. When you pick the mushrooms, you like to leave the stem. We leave them in the ground because they're connected to mycelium. So that's why you see all these mushrooms are all kind of connected around this dead elm. So next year we'll find the mushrooms growing hopefully in the same spot. One thing that people are gonna be like, ew, this is gross, there's probably bugs in there. Well, yes, there are bugs in there. That's why you clean them uh, when you get home in the sink. 
Clean them in the sink and then you can cook them. <laughs> we all just went over the hill. Strong just about stepped on a mushroom. Careless. Beautiful one. It's gonna be great in my stomach. So over here, you can kind of tell that this one's newer and this one's older, but you can tell that this one's fresh because there's no discoloration on the top, whereas this one has more on the top. Remember that mesh bag we were talking about? Well, we forgot ours today, so Sydney's gonna use her hat to collect our mushrooms in. Country. Redneck ingenuity. Yeah, exactly. Pick those and put them in my hat. <laughs> Spread those spores. Oh, I just sat on a freaking thorn bush right in my butt. Right in the cheek. <laughs> right in the cheek. Right on the cheek. Well, if you need a new hat, I highly recommend to get the Barstool Outdoors hat at the Barstool store. You know why? Because it's perfect for a mushroom holder. So, it's flexible. You know, you can put on your hat, you can hold it with a bunch of snacks, you never know. Here's a couple more over here. There's two over here. Holy moly! Hope this one's all crooked. We gotta bring these to and the then... Chicago office to cook at the for the guys. Oh, you think Dave's gonna get you sick again? Uh, he's not cooking them. That was pretty cool. I think that's the best find I've ever had. <laughs> for dead trees. Hey Clint, check that one right in front of you. I'm about to rip my nuts open on this fence. <laughs> this is my brother Clint Wells, everybody. He's a cowboy. Uh, only on Sundays. Only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> it's Friday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That one's a good one. Just a little guy. Yeah! Is it, is it big? No, it's very small. Aww. Yeah. This is the biggest one we found all day. <laughs> no, just the one. Just the really teeny one. <laughs> Should we pick it? Yeah. Okay. Look at that one. Is gonna be so mad that we found the biggest one today. <laughs> Decent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a really nice one. Clint, look at this mushroom. All right, our second go around. We've only found four. They're pretty. Yeah, there's four. I can't count. Pretty sporadic around the woods. Now we're gonna go back to the farm, throw these guys back in the tundra, and cook them up for you. I'm excited. Okay, so we're meeting up with my parents now. They heard the news, obviously I called them, that we're finding a bunch of morels. So they left work and literally out in the woods looking for them right now. But we're gonna go meet up with them and see what they're uh, finding. Mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Wells, went ahead and went without us, picked them without us, but we got here first. They heard Whoa, that we're picking them, so they're like, we're gonna beat them to it. Come over here, Sean. This is gonna be a very chaotic video she's, for five she's seconds. She's the girl that if you didn't get your blowgun in the mail, or if it came bent, She's the one to blame. Uh, <laughs> okay, Sean. Listen! What? Did you hear that? <laughs> A tree just went down. <laughs> Everybody watch. Watch your heads. Tim, what's the difference between a gray and a yellow? The color. The color. <laughs> Maybe there's a subscriber out there that knows more about a gray versus a yellow mushroom. If you're one of those subscribers, leave the comment below because I'm super interested. But look at these guys. Woohoo! My mom is very kind and she let me come over here and pick this one. But she didn't see that one. So technically we both found them. These are a little, uh, these are starting to dry out a little bit. You can tell they're not as yellow. Or, I mean, these are gray, but they're, you can tell by their stem too. They're kind of drying out a little bit. And you can tell when you hold them too, they're not as flaky, they're a little bit more dry. So we found them at a good time because they could have just dried up. There's one over here. This one's dry too. Look, see it's at the top of it? It's already dried out. Also, every time I feel something like moving on my legs, I feel like it's a tick just working its way up to my back. Okay, we're finally back in the kitchen. We got all the mushrooms out. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and prep them. They have not been cleaned, touched, or anything. There's still probably bugs crawling inside. I actually just saw a spider in one. What we're gonna do is just dice them up, wash them off, drain them, cook them. We're gonna do two different things. We're gonna fry them, and Abby's gonna do her homemade mushroom cream topping. Mushroom cream sauce. We're gonna put it on some ribeyes. Um, it's just the morel mushrooms, onions, garlic, rosemary, heavy cream, a little salt and pepper.
protein. Now I'm going to put the mushrooms into the butter and the onions. Now we're gonna let these cook down a little bit and then we're gonna add our heavy cream and all of our spices. How much heavy cream? Are you, do you eyeball I it? eyeball it. Sydney's not meant to be in the kitchen. She missed the eyeball. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> look at all the work she's doing. Yeah, look at yeah, that. What are you doing? At, <laughs> I'm boiling potatoes. Thank you very much. Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Clint's the one looking at you. I don't know. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and cut them like Abby did, and we're going to fry these bad boys up, which is a lot easier than making this. This is why I'm doing the frying. We don't add too much to the mushroom when we're frying them, mostly because then you can really just taste the mushroom and the natural flavor of it. I'm excited to try Abby's morel and base sauce because I've never had something like that, and it'll be a first for me. Wait. Look at the bugs just crawling out of there. That guy's gonna be fried. Look at all the bugs. You can fry your morels in either oil or butter. So if you've never had them, maybe try both and you can decide what you like to do. Fresh, cut up, and cleaned morels. And then I got my buttermilk. That's what I'm gonna use here. Ready? If something were to happen to him while they were moving him to the new location. It's ready. If he were to try to meet what's being said. Did you make all the steaks, Clint? Mm hmm. There's six there? Yeah. I'm not doing dishes, I use a paper plate. This is my first time ever eating. Morel mushroom sauce, so I would give it like a 8.3. Ooh, good score, good score. Well, thanks for coming along on the journey to find these morel mushrooms and how to cook them in two different ways. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Great job, guys. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Sir. Sir. At least somebody respects me. <laughs> the drama.